her name. Say her name. Just hours ago, a vigil at the old capital honored activist Oluwatoyan Salu. ABC 27's Cara Bailey was there and shares some of the sights and sounds of her legacy. About 50 people gathered on the lawn in front of the old capital to remember the life and impact of Oluwatoyan Ruth Salau. Close friends shed tears, fellow activists held flowers, all to keep Oluwatoyan's advocacy in the light. It's okay to be angry, use wisdom. Salau spent many of the last days of her 19-year life advocating for Black Lives Matter and against police brutality. Fellow advocate and vigil organizer Trish Brown remembers their shared objectives. What we're fighting for is black liberation and what we're like trying to get is um, control of the police. Um, so those things um, Toyin um, like fought with us side by side on. She and others cried as they recalled search efforts for Toyin before police found her murdered on Monday Road last June. I want us to get justice for Toyin. Now, community members and even city commissioners calling on others to continue Toyin's fight. Um, I, I think her story speaks to um, a system that had really failed a, a young black woman. And I, I, I think seeing people come out and recognize that and realize that and, and keep pushing for changes within that system um, is what I'd like to see happen. Joining Reverend Lee Johnson in a song of perseverance. Yeah, you know that song. Ain't gonna let nobody turn. Turn me round, turn me round, ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. We're gonna keep on a walking, keep on a talking, marching to the freedom. Matt Lowe and members of the Tallahassee Community Action Committee reminding those who mourn to turn their pain into action. In Tallahassee, Cara Bailey, ABC 27. Salu and one other victim were found dead at the home of Aaron Glee off of Monday Road in Tallahassee on June 13th of last year. 